Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Churchill Downs here on Saturday. It is April the 28th, 2018. I'm going to look at the featured ninth race on opening night from Churchill, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Today's featured ninth race on opening night from Churchill, remember first post 6 Eastern. The ninth race, it's the fourth running of the William Walker Stakes Purse, $100,000. It's for three year olds here. Field to 10 3 Olds going the distance of the ground of 1,000 meters. If you want to go by that, or the distance of the ground of five furlongs on the Churchill Turf Course. Um, in years past, this race used to be run at six furlongs on the main dirt course, but this year they changed the condition slightly to have it be run on the turf today at five furlongs. Another thing just to keep in mind, a little off subject here, uh, talking about the turf course for a second and turf sprints. Um, starting this year, they're going to be carding five and a half furlong turf sprints, which is going to be quite nice. Uh, they've never done that in the last 31 years, basically, this turf course has been in play. Um, and I think that extra furlong helps a lot of horses and, uh, you know, it's going to be good to see the Breers Cup Turf Sprint and Juvenile Turf Sprint this year at that extra half furlong. So, uh, you know, I like that. But uh, back to today's ninth race now from Churchill. My top pick in this race, I like number seven horse, Beckford. I'm going to go 7-5-1-8 in the Super Fact. The 7-5-1-8 Super. Top pick number seven, Beckford. 3-1, to one, Julian Leperu is on this trio called by <laughs> Bated Breath. This horse's most recent outing came on the 3rd of November under his previous trainer, Gordon Elliott, at Del Mar. One mile in the Breers Cup Juvenile Turf. He finished fifth by two lengths that day. He had a horrible trip, basically last for most of the race. Closed up a little bit at the end, but, you know, he just had a horrible trip. Before that, the 30th of September at Newmarket, six furlongs, 1,200 meters in the middle park stakes. Um, you know, this horse finished fifth by three and a half lengths, was the 7-2 to two favorite at post time, and just really never quickened up. The other horses quickened up nicely. The winner at U.S. Navy flag was the winner next start out, and who's uh, expected to run next week in the, I believe, in 1,000 guineas, uh, or excuse me, 2,000 guineas at Newmarket. This horse just really couldn't keep up with him. And then the Vincent O'Brien National Stakes uh, group, one race occur at seven furlongs last September. Horse finished second by three and a half lengths. Closed up a little bit at the end, just missed, but had a great run. And then at six furlongs in Keeneland Phoenix Stakes at the Curra last August. Horse finished second by half length beyond Sioux Nation. Again, he had a great turn of foot from mid pack. I expect him to sit mid pack here today, and I expect him to run a big one. He had a workout on this race course on the 22nd of April, which was last Saturday. Four furlong workout, 48 and four fifth of the second with the dogs up. The best workout of 18. So I think this horse is rearing to go. Watch out for this horse here today. So to recap my bets from the ninth from Churchill here on opening night, it's the fourth running of the William Walker. Gonna go with the seven horse at Beckford. Gonna go seven five one eight in the Superfecta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.